WRC Channel 2. This is Houston Newsmakers with Cambrell Marshall. And welcome back to Houston Newsmakers, where I'm joined by Mika Mosbacher, the wife of the late former Secretary of Commerce, Robert Mosbacher. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. I'm wearing my white race suit, so I speed it over here. Yep. Trying yep. not to get a ticket. We're glad that you were able to come here. This is a special week. Um, and a special day, I know that um, six years ago, when I mean, your husband died of pancreatic cancer, mm -hmm. and that really started a journey for you, did it not? That really kind of has led to this book, Racing Forward. Tell, how did we get to this point? Well, I wrote the book as a tribute to my late husband. And in talking with other widows who I'd met through the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, mm -hmm. I recognized that we shared several things in common. We really didn't have a manual on how to grieve. And so I wanted to write a book that was a part memoir, but also was upbeat. And I wanted to be honest and share some of my emotions and some of my challenges, mm -hmm. such as feeling a loss a, and a paralysis, not mm -hmm. being able to get out of bed, trying to motivate myself to do simple things, like go to the grocery store or the bank, right. uh, the fact that I couldn't concentrate. And I felt like, you know, the only thing that's really going to help me is to kind of be more action-oriented mm -hmm. and grieve forward. Right. So, and so that process, how, how long after uh, your husband's death did you actually think about, because you've been a writer before you started to write this book, that should be said, you didn't just start, oh, I'm going to write a book, you've been a writer before that. Exactly. How long of a period of time did it come to you, I think I need to do this? It, uh, I would say about two years ago, I really began talking seriously about doing it, and I'd put some notes down, mm -hmm. and then I pitched it to a publisher. I thought nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm out of my comfort zone, and they bought the book. In the meantime, this past week, a special week because the former Preston Street Bridge has now been renamed the Bob Mossbacker Bridge, and you were there to see that happening. What were your thoughts when you saw that tribute happening to your late husband? Many years still, these tributes coming, you see the powerhouse of political stalwarts there to be a part of that. He was so humble, he would have said, what's all the fuss about? <laughs> but Bob loved bridges. He was a world champion sailor. The fact that the bridge is along the, the Buffalo Bayou in a city that he loves and commemorates a friendship with uh, Jimmy Baker and President Bush. Mm -hmm. And, and the years they spent together doing some important projects, but also having fun, mm -hmm. enjoying themselves as friends. It was a, an overwhelming moment for me. How did you come up with the name Racing Forward? Well, how did that come about? Well, it was sort of a play on Grieving Forward, and then the whole idea was is if I'm going to have to catapult myself forward in life, and get out of this kind of stagnation. You know, I was sort of spinning my wheels grieving. Mm -hmm. I, I felt like I needed to have passion and purpose, and I was so out of my comfort zone at that point. And you say that, and I notice we've got video of the book and some of the pictures yeah. in the book, and you talked about the fact that you really were out of your comfort zone. Having said that, you really open up. In that book, we can really be with you and feel the grief and the concern and the nervousness, and we can feel that in your book. So that, that, how challenging was it to let yourself pour on those pages like that? Well, it was cathartic at first, but after I turned in the final copy to the editor, which would have been uh, Christmas time last year, I got stage fright. I called the editor up and I said, you know what, I don't think I can put myself out here. I feel like the emperor wearing no clothes. And she kind of talked me off the ledge. And I began to realize once the book was published and as I connected with other people such as yourself, that I did have a message to convey that resonated with other people. So that part's been rewarding. And you were, been, if you, it wasn't the first time you were impulsive. I, one, one of the parts in your book, you talked about the fact that you had a wedding dress that you took, you threw that down the shoot. Oh, wedding pictures. Yes, wedding pictures. Wedding pictures, because it hurt too much to look at them. And I'm actually going around the country we heard several similar stories. People putting their pictures up, putting them in boxes, giving them away to Goodwill, because all those memories come back, and, and especially when you're at home at night, if you're home alone, 
and you're looking at the photos and you're hearing the emp emptiness in the house, you really begin to miss your loved one. Right, right. What, what do you hope people will get when they open your book? What would you want them to come away with once they close and they put that book down? What do you want them to get away They're with? not the Lone Ranger. Uh, they're not suffering in silence. They aren't alone. And since they are out of their comfort zone, in my case, I took up uh, race car driving. But for someone else, maybe they've always wanted to paint or they've always wanted to learn a musical instrument. Life is short, and this is the time to go, uh, go at something that you have a passion for. And where, where can people find your book? Amazon.com and Barnes & Noble. Okay. We want people to do that. And the name of the book again? Racing Forward. Good deal. Well, I, I had a chance to read that. I couldn't put it down, probably because I have a common thing with racing and just getting to know you and your husband, Bob, in a way that I would not have known otherwise. Thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. A pleasure. Good luck as you sell your book and you take your next steps in this life going forward, <laughs> racing forward. Racing forward. <laughs> well, we're going to take a look ahead to next week and a very tough-to-get special guest. I hope you'll join me. That's when Houston Newsmakers continues right after this.